I think I couldn't let Grandma Bev have all the fun. So I'm going to try Grandma's camera skills out and read you a book myself and say Happy Halloween. And I hope you feel better real soon because I know you're getting some work done. So this one's called Ghosts in the House. And I've got my little friend back here. Ghosts in the House. Once there was a girl who went to live in a big old house at the edge of town. It was a splendid place, but there was one problem. What do you think was wrong with the house? The house was haunted. What would you do if you lived in a haunted house? The girl wasn't just a plain girl, though. She was a witch. She knew how to catch ghosts. How lovely, she said. I hope there are some more. Looks like she's tackling them like a football player. I wonder what she's going to do with them. There were plenty of ghosts. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more ghosts? She continued until she had caught them all. You've got ghosts on your head, too. Oh, I do have ghosts on my head. I forgot about that. Then she went to the kitchen, and she put them all in the washing machine. When they were clean, she hung them up on the clothesline. It was fine weather for drying. Look at those ghosts' face. They looked like they were happy to get a bath. Is that a kitty cat hanging up on the clothesline? After drying, most of the ghosts became curtains. of the ghosts made a very nice tablecloth. The little witch began to feel very tired after all her hard work. She knew just what to do with the last two ghosts. What do you think she's doing with them? We've got curtains, we've got a tablecloth, Oh, look what she did with the last two ghosts. And they all lived happily ever after. Nighty night. I oh, hit, the, hit the red button. You do? Well, it's still beeping, so I don't know. Hit the red button.